Welcome back. This is Pryco channel. If you are interested in programming, productivity, or digital nomad, just click down below on the bottom and then on the bell so you can be up to date to everything that we do over here. Today we are going to talk about how to add a product to the WooCommerce cart using uh, the SQU. It's a very, very cool tweak that I had to create for a company that I used to work before. And it's part of a several tweaks and plugins that I'm going to be uploading in upcoming videos. So let's try to convert this coffee in code and let's do it right now. We need to then, I mean, we can create either a plugin or just simply add the code that I'm going to create on functions PHP, but I'm going to create a plugin for you because this is, this could be a series of videos that I can add new tweaks to the WooCommerce, uh, in my previous job. And, uh, I really, use it these tweaks all the time. And maybe we can just increase it over the new videos that we can add in the end. I can just simply post them on GitHub and we can just take it. So for that, I'm going to just simply use the WPS default. Uh, remember that I use WPCLI for everything and the plugin in the, let's say that the name for is going to be write code woo tweaks. There you go. Okay, pass out there. So L and we can have the file here and we have the okay sorry I'm going to then use functions right code there we go much better just for the plugin folder on this uh, remember that remember that all these files are just in VS Cafold 4 and I'm just going to simply add brightcode.io over here to everything there. So that's it. And the value of the version is going to be 0001. Love it. So I have here several products on my WooCommerce installation. I have jean and I have t-shirt. If I want to add a value I mean, any of this, any of these products to the card, and I want to do it, and I want to do it with a URL. I can just simply use add to card and the product ID of the system. So there you go. If I add the 42, and 42 is the product ID of the T-shirt, it's going to be added. But nobody can remember the product ID's numbers. And uh, what we do is that normally you set an inventory for, and the SQU is the value of the set four. So if I set one, two, three as the SQU for this product, and I want to add it, nothing is happening. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So for that, we need to set up a query bar. So the query bar, it's a, uh, that's a, uh, we need to add the query bar. We need to just, uh, I mean, like a tweak, the filter for the query bars of the system. Query bars are just simply after the, uh, question mark value on the URL and you set the, 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 the parm for, so it will be something like, uh, HTTPS, HTTPS, uh, my site.com slash my param bar. So this one, you can use it as a value for, you know, but you need to to uh, uh, register for WordPress. So that's what we're gonna do here. So set add filter for that. We need to add the filter query bars. And we can set the name for that. Something like product code, woo, query bar. And we set the function for that. Be product code, woo, commerce, there you go. And it's going to bring to us a value, a, a variable called, we can call it like query bars. This is the, the same one that we are going to return. So we always return the same value for it with the new query bars that we have. This is an array and we just simply say, hey, you know what, query bars, add, add to cart by SQU. So anytime that we set something like this. 
something like this and I can say something like FLS it will be then I mean I can use this value to get the information at the bottom the, and the input that we set here so I was gonna make a test I already did a test and it didn't work that well on login but we are going to simply set the action to get footer just for the printing that's it nothing else and I can do something like echo value equals and for that we just just use get query bar and it will be this there you go uh, just send it on here and if I set this and I set something like a query sorry by SQU Ah, okay. Okay, I know the why. LOP plugin activate. Sorry for that. Activate it. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Value and There you go. Okay, the error was that uh, <laughs> the value of the uh, the name of the variable was, was not okay here. Okay, well, okay, now we have the value. So what we need then is just to get that SQU, convert it in a product ID, and then send it to the add to cart. Okay, so it's gonna add a function for that. And we are going to set the action for the template redirect. So the template redirect is going to get that variable the template so the action is going to be template for the action and we can set something like that right go to uh, add to card by squ handle okay and we have this we need on this is that we need to get the values in this case we can set something like an squ get query bar add to car by squ you here and we say hey you know what i need the product id for this so how you get the product id for that so you use the function wc get product ID by SQU and you set the SQU over here and you simply do so if count product ID is 
greater than zero, you just simply say, hey, you know what? That would be redirect. Um, URL and you send it to the cart. So what you're going to return to the cart? You're going to send the cart with the pattern add to cart, which is the value, the basic pattern for WooCommerce. So add to cart equals the product ID. So in this case, we need to add here the exit because the PHP execution should not continue after we redirect. And just following this, we should then in this here. We should add to card one to three, which is the SQU. Sorry, what add to card by SQU? There you go. There you go, we add it. So if I add something like that, add to card four, five, six, which is the gene. Let's see, let's add to card by SQU, I'm sorry. By SQU, four, five, six. Something's happening. Okay, yeah, there you go, the gene is over there. So what if we go, if we want to add multiple uh, products by by uh, by SVU. Imagine that you are going to send a marketing campaign and you want to add five products to your users in just one URL. So for that, we need to just recreate a little bit this, but it's going to be pretty fun. So it's going to go in. So for that, we are going to get then the SQUs that we get here, and it's going to add some here. Let's see if it's admin. And ask use not empty. This is just for happen if you are not in the admin panel. And you set the SQUs and you did you say something like okay, give me the SQU for. But for that we need to go the for each of the SQUs. But the SQUs in this case is just a string. We need to convert it to an to an array of SQUs. We said something like, okay, happen just two days after you do the explode. Remember, the explode is going to convert your string in an array. And you said ask you use here and ask you use equals this. So we converted this string into this array. So this array is going to just go over each of the values of the array and we are going to try to get the product ID for. So we trim this. Is just to be sure that we don't go, we don't have the spaces between each of the SQUs that we are bringing for, and the product ID we need to tell uh, you know what, just add it here, and we are going to use a function, a global function called WC. This is just for WordPress. I mean for WooCommerce. Just say something like a card, add to card. And if the product ID exists, we are going to add the product ID for that. There you go. We go over all the options that we have, all the SQs that we get here. We finish this. And after that, we say, hey, you know what? Just redirect me to the cart. Let's see if it works. In this case, we're going to Remove this, remove this, and I will go into say add to cart by SQU, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I add those two SQUs, you should add them to the cart. Let's see what happens. Okay, something's happening with my redirect. There we go, we add it. It's gonna add another product. It's going to duplicate this one. And let's say T-shirt two, and I'm going to the inventory 79. It's gonna publish again by SQU 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 789. 
if I add it, oh, well, something is because of the index PHP redirect. And there you go. We have two values of the other ones and we have the, uh, yeah, and the, and, the, and the product for the new one that they should too. So that's it. So we add this custom URL. Now we can add any uh, product to the WooCommerce cart using the SQU. I'm going to upload this code to github.com slash product coders. Every, I mean, all the code that I'm going, that I have been doing over the videos are, is going to be there. Also, I'm going to start to write all these videos on pricode.io slash blog. So you can follow also all the code over there. You can follow me on my personal Instagram at Aldi Nomad. I'm sharing over there my, my life and my lifestyle. And if you have any questions, just leave the comment. If you think that this video is useful, just share it. And if you like the video, just click on the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.